Basically, I'm at the, uh, the 12th fret in E tuning, sometimes called Vastapole, and tuning low to high, E, B, E, G sharp, B, E. It's like playing a big E chord down here, but it's tuned, so you get that open. And the thing I love about the uh, using these tunings is it, it really does open up the sound of the guitar, and you can get a lot more going in the way of harmonics and overtones, especially sympathetic tones. I, I'll show that in a minute, too and how you can work that into playing uh, more melodically in those kind of lines that are very lyrical. <clears throat> For example, if I were playing a, a line like this. Very sweet, but if you leave it open back here and work the palm of it, so these, pick up some of these other tones. It's much more, has a lot more vocal quality about it, and uh, it's a more complex sound. I think it makes it a lot more interesting. And the thing that's really cool about that, you can work your way around the fretboard and find those sweet spots and the ones that really bloom and open up. And it can get ugly if it gets out of control, but that's part of the fun anyway, to get a handle on that. So if you're combining something like that with fretting behind the slide, um, you can stay at the 12th fret and get basic like a 4 chord and E, right back here. Get a 4 chord, here's a 5 chord. I'll go minor. And that's how I first discovered this whole thing. Really, I was frustrated in, in a blues band. I could see the minor uh, third, which in a key of E would be a G, natural, and usually playing these shapes for a pin of blues. And I was trying to figure out a way that I could get that minor out of the chord and being able to see it back there, and that's what kind of just caught me on it. So describe case. exactly what you did there for somebody who's never seen this technique. You dropped one finger. And right. So I'll let you describe it. Go ahead. Well, the thing of it is, you, you want your action up just high enough that you get uh, the, all the notes that you're going to uh, float with the slide that, don't, that won't touch the neck, right? With that big open sound. It's all six strings. But if you reach your finger back, say for about two frets, in this case, we'll, we'll go for a seventh note. So here's the E, 12th fret, go back two frets. And what happens is there's just enough room to fret back here. This string goes underneath the slide. So you get a combination of the fretted note, this fretted E, and then all the other strings are the floor. the idea. You can work your way up from uh, behind the slide like that and get some of these other ones. You play this where the minor comes in. And that's the seventh again in May. There's another seventh on top. Once you get used to doing that and uh, over the shock and all of all that, <laughs> you can begin to combine those. So if you're playing harmonies, like, maybe just off these two. So I'm going down two strings at a time. I'm taking kind of amp offs in here. And the slide. It's all based on the basic, the uh, open E chord. Play individually. 